I lift my voice when all is dark. Into God's hands I place my heart. The adore of Kiruchi. I'm not afraid, Adonai. I lift my eyes when all is night. When I need help, I seek God's light. I'm not afraid, Adonai. I'm not afraid, Adonai. I'm not afraid, Adonai. I have set the eternal always before me. God is at my side. I shall not be moved. Therefore does my heart exult and my soul rejoice. My being is secure. For you will not abandon me to death, nor let your faithful ones see destruction. You show me the path of life. Your presence brings fullness of joy. Enduring happiness is your gift. Death has taken your beloved Jerry. Our friends grieve in their darkened world. In their silence there is lamentation. In their tears there is loneliness. Lost in their sorrow, may they find the presence of loving friends and family. Hear them, O oh God, and be with them. For Jerry's love that united us in life, in which death cannot sever. For his companionship, that we share the long life's path, and which continues through the tenderness of memory. For all the gifts of his heart and his mind that brought us joy and happiness, it is now a remembrance. For all these and more, we give our thanks to God. Adonai roi lo echsar, vino de shagir bitseni, ame menuchot yonahaleni, Nafshi shove vian chemi the maglet sedek the man shemo gam ki elech the gates al mavet lo yira raki atayi mati shifta chau mishantecha hemay nachamuni taroch lefanai shulchan neged zorai. Tishat of a shaman roshi, Kosir vaya, Achtov, a chesed yer de funi, Koya me hai, the shafti befet Adonai, Le orahiahami. The words of the 23rd Psalm God is my shepherd, I shall not want. God makes me lie down in green pastures, leads me beside the still waters, and restores my soul. You lead me in right paths for the sake of your name. Even when I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You have set a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of God forever. The Kosman the Eid Lachol Chefetz Tachat HaShemayim Eid Laledet Veid Lamut Eid Lataat Veid Lachor Natuya We read in Ecclesiastes that there is a season for everything, a time for every experience under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to grieve and a time to dance, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. This is one of those times that both are appropriate. Sometimes sitting in the silence brings you comfort and other times speaking, talking, telling the stories of Jerry will bring you comfort and peace this grieving family. We offer our condolences and our sympathies on a great, great tragic loss for your family. A huge hole in your heart. We remember him with love and with kindness. We speak of our tradition. Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai asked his students, 
What is a good way for a man to live his life? One of his students answered, to have an ayin tova, to have a good eye. Another student said, to be a chaver tov, to be a good friend. And a third student, Rabbi Elazar, he said it's to have a lev tov, a good heart. Rabbi Yohanan said, I prefer the third student, Rabbi Elazar's answer. For those who have a lev tov, who have a good heart, they also possess all the other qualities. Jerry Dwash had an ayin tova, a good eye, for he was able to look at life and at people and see the good. Jerry was a chaver tov, he was a good friend. He was fun to be with. He had a great sense of humor and a great spirit in him. But above all and basic to all else, he had a lev tov, he had a good heart. He was a warm, loving, caring, and sincere family man who gave generously and put everyone's welfare above his own. Family was first and central in everything that he did. He grew up in Cleveland, graduated from Shaker Heights High School, but it was while a student at the University of Toledo that he met his beautiful wife to be Maddie. And after a short courtship, they were married in June 1960, a true partnership that lasted 60 years. They were blessed to raise two daughters, Dana and Hillary, who were not only devoted daughters, but were his and Manny's weekend employees at his Beecher Place <laughs> Pharmacy. The prescription pad, not so much for the health, but more so as a devious way to keep his eye on his two teenage girls <laughs> at all times. Dana admitted to me that Dad was a tough boss, but fired her multiple times. <laughs> but he always rehired her. Jerry worked diligently, very diligently, but in long services and enjoyed his recreational classes with the same tenacity. They retired early to Florida where he spent much of his days golfing, playing cards, and arranging tournaments at the Polo Club. But after many years, the Polo family brought him and Maddie back to Cleveland in July 2019. His family, Dana and Randall, Hillary and Ron, and grandchildren Morgan and Mark, Haley and Samantha and Allie, to whom he was lovingly called Papa, his sister Donna and Les, made his and Maddie's return a wonderful homecoming. And as his health began to slowly decline, he was gifted with the gorgeous Zoe, his first great-granddaughter that brought him incredible joy and happiness. Maddie, forever, her companionship of love, helped him cared for him, and he was surrounded by his adoring family, and that brought him renewed vigor, strength, and certainly a greater quality to his fond days and months. Our Yisker prayer characterizes a father as Avi Mori, my father, my teacher, and there are two kinds of instruction that a parent can give, formal and informal. The first kind takes place in the classroom with books, computers, and sadly, with Zoom lessons today. The second is informal education that takes place to a great extent in the home. The outlook, the attitudes, and the values of the instructor, the father, are conveyed to his children in a variety of ways, some so subtle as to defy analysis. However, the result is the shaping of lives and the character in a far more effective way than is possible in any classroom. Dana learned a work ethic from her father that guides her life by his example of what hard work is and striving to be the best one can be. Hillary absorbed the love of gardening. While pulling weeds, they talked about plants and they built a patio. Jerry's mechanical sense and ability to fix just about everything was a skill that she inherited as well. Jerry's influence on the lives of his family and friends was strong and far-reaching. At this time, I'd like to invite Dane and Hillary to share some of their personal memories with all of us. small group everybody here pretty much knows it's going to be kind of short because there's no reason to say a whole lot because you can't be here but um my 
dad and I had a really special bond. Um, everybody here knows my dad could be tough. Um, but, um, hold on. <laughs> for my dad. Wait, I started backwards. He was a really big presence, both in his stature and personality. His smile was infectious, but the last few years he suffered in a lot of pain. And people in us, we really didn't get to see the smile so much. But that never changed the size of his heart. He was a cream puff inside. He loved my little family of four so much. He loved my mother and my sister and me so much. He loved all of us. The last few years, my phone rang often with calls from my dad, whether it was a question, a complaint, or just to say hello. He always knew I was just a phone call away. Sometimes it was just a drive away once they came here. I walked around my parents' apartment that I worked so hard on to make a beautiful home for them once they came back. And every piece of art, every piece of furniture, every tchotchke that we told him to throw away, <laughs> all carries a piece of him because we talked about every little thing because he was such a perfectionist and he told us that every single day. <laughs> Sometimes we talked so much it was as if I were his therapist. I'll always hear his booming voice bellowing through my house. I sent him a letter a year ago, and it was probably the best thing I ever did. I sent both my parents a letter, and I told them everything I would tell them today that at least I know for sure he heard and appreciated. I loved him so very much, and I'll always hear him yelling through my house, Hillary! <laughs> Love you, Daddy. <laughs> Dad, it brings my heart to be standing here at your funeral, saying goodbye to the first man I ever loved. You taught us so much, and have created a beautiful family legacy. We will take care of Mom and always carry you in our hearts. You will never be forgotten. Uh, my guests are steaming up. <laughs> you will. Um, I couldn't have. I have, couldn't have asked for a better dad. It couldn't have, if, if I chose one, an honor to carry your legacy. Your, fu your future grandson will carry so much of you with him. You will look at him and think of you often. We, you, we, will, we will all have a part of you and pray that you will watch over us. We will never forget the constant jokes you played on us for the times you made us laugh so hard till you made mom pee. <laughs> the kids remembered the fake puke you chased them around the house with, <laughs> pretending it was real. Dad, all I can say is if you could see the proof of the pudding, you raised a wonderful, loving family who will always be there for each other. And now it's my turn to have the last word. I love you today and forever. And you will be with us in our hearts forever. I love you. what to say. But how could I possibly put into words what having you as a grandfather meant to me? How could I summarize an entire lifetime of memories into a few sentences? I can't, so I won't try. I've talked to you a lot since you've passed on. It's brought me comfort knowing that you have been reunited with your family. I know that you will be there for me for all the big moments of my life. When I meet my soulmate, when I get married, when I have kids, 
and I know you will be there waiting for me when it's my time to move on into heaven. I promise to keep your legacy alive and to tell my children about what an amazing grandfather you were. Your memory will never be forgotten. May you rest easy knowing that there is nothing that I nor anyone would change about you. May you rest easy knowing that your family will make it through this hard time together. I love you forever, my papa. A stubborn angel, but an angel. I cherish our conversations about work, football, our daily lives, and yes, even politics. It was always interesting for me to hear his side of things coming from different generations, even though I may not have acted like it. He was always a jokester. He would always tell jokes, maybe the same joke a thousand times, but we could, all we could do was laugh it off. He was me and Allie's biggest fan. I love watching our video from his 80th birthday cruise of him and Nana in the front row of the Voice of the Ocean cheering us on. He was always very worried whenever I was sick to make sure I knew he was a pharmacist and to always check with him before I decided to take anything. All he wanted was for us to succeed in whatever we were doing and he wanted to be the number one fan. The things I would do to hear, da 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 da, <laughs> one more time. I love you, Papa, and I hope I make you proud. <laughs> Since I was young, my Nana and Papa have given me so much comfort. In the past few years, I know it has been hard for both of them, adjusting to so much change. I have such great memories of when I was young that I wish I could have time to share, but the best to me have been the past couple of years. Although Papa wasn't getting around as easily, he remained sharp and witty until the end. I have a favorite most recent memory that I think captures Papa perfectly. I stopped over to the apartment a couple months ago to say hi and have some lunch. My Nana makes the best tuna. If you know, you know. And as I was getting ready to leave, Papa showed me his patio setup, which he was really proud of. After a minute of showing me around, I realized that I was in fact going to be gardening that day. I knew how much Papa loved gardening and tending to his plants, so I was happy to do whatever I could. We then sat and enjoyed the view and, li and listened to some Dixieland. I think the reason that the past few years have been special is because of the understanding that Papa and I came to. I saw, I saw through his tough edge and saw the big-hearted, funny Papa that he was. I'm in shock and numb that my Papa Jerry is no longer here. I wish I could have given him that back massage he's been asking for for <laughs> over 10 years. And even though Sam and I did not become the and next Andrew sisters, I hope we still made you proud. To my Nana, you are the strongest woman I have ever known. Your grace and your kindness has inspired me my whole life. I love you, and we will get through this together. Each time that you speak of Jerry, your papa, your father, your friend, give his soul, his neshama and aliyah, he gets, his soul becomes closer and closer to heaven. That's how we have our loved ones stay with us forever. Each generation continues to speak and to share and to tell the stories. So he never truly dies. His memory will still, still be within each and every one of you as you continue to give his neshama that elevation towards God and to heaven. Adonai Natan ve'adonai lakaf yishem Adonai mevora. God has given and now God has taken away. Blessed be the name of God. We ask you to please rise this time for El Malay Racham. Tachat von Verschrinah, 
‫הרוגים טרשים וטהורים, ‫כזוהר הרקיע מזהירים. ‫את נשמת יוסל בן לייזר ורוחו, ‫שהלך לעולמו. ‫כבר הרחמים יתירהו בסט ‫הכנפיו לעמים, ‫בצרור בצרור חיים את נשמתו. אדוני הוא נחלתו, ינוח בשלום המשכבו, ונאמר אמן. Compassionate God, eternal spirit of the universe, grant perfect rest in your sheltering presence to Jerry Dwash, son of Leo and Ray, who has entered eternity Let his soul be bound up in the bond of everlasting life. God is his inheritance. May he now rest in peace. And let us all say, Amen. Amen. Al Nikomo Yavo Shalom. May Jerry come to his eternal home. God who gave it, it is only the house of God, the house of the Spirit, which we now lay within the earth. The Spirit itself cannot die. We ask those who are able to join these mourners, Maddie, Dana, Hillary, and family, the words of Kaddish. Yitkadal, v'yitkadal, shmei rabah, ra'alma divra chirute, v'yamlich malchute, v'chayechon u'v'yomechon, ובחיי דכל בית ישראל, בעגלה ובזמן קרי ואמרו אמן. יהי שמי רבא מברך לעולם ולעולמי עולמיה, ויתברך ויתשתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שמי וקודשה ברוך הוא. לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה. ותושבחתה ונחמתה דאמירם ואלמה ואמרו אמן. 